Welcome back to a beautiful day here on Staten Island. We're in Mount Loretto State Park, and today we're gonna to be revisiting footwear. About two years ago, I reviewed the Merrill Moab 2 hiking shoe with the waterproofing. And since then, I've really looked for other options. That shoe is kind of a jack of all trades in a way, which makes it a great one shoe solution but there's some drawbacks that make it not a perfect hiking boot. And also it's not quite a great everyday walking, hiking slash trail running shoe either. Uh, and those drawbacks really come down to the fact that since it's a low cut hiking shoe, it doesn't have a ton of ankle support like a traditional hiking boot would. And also if you're walking through water, the waterproofing only goes up to about your ankle. So it's not great for a little deeper water where a high top hiking shoe is because it's physically taller. And then on the trail running side, the weight of the Mero Moab 2, which I believe I mentioned in that original review, it's a little heavy. Um, so when you're going out, puts a little strain or stress on your joints and it's just a little heavier. So it's a little bit awkward. It's a little more clumsy than a traditional walking or running shoe. So if you're scrambling through a boulder field or you're like walking along like thin trees, or if you just want to go out for a little run in not so ideal terrain, it's not great. It's not perfect at that. And that's why I've kind of come around to really preferring a two shoe solution. <laughs> That's why today we're gonna to talk about the New Balance 510 V4 trail running shoe. Nate from the future here. While I was editing the video, I realized that I was missing a clip where I talked about the fit, feel, and finish of the shoe. So we're re-recording it right now. Overall, I think the fit, feel, and finish of the shoe is phenomenal. Uh, it's super durable. I'm really hard on my shoes. And after six or so months of everyday use of hiking of running at 275 280 pounds these shoes have held up pretty well uh, the tread is still there the soles of the shoe are still intact i guess i'm a pretty light runner for a big guy i don't pronate i don't supinate i don't have any really uh odd running habits yet <laughs> um, so that may be why my shoe is held up better than others. I did notice there is some wear around the uh, very top of the shoe, um, basically like around the, like the top entrance of the shoe. And that is a little frustrating uh, that that's the first wear point, uh, but overall super happy with it. Uh, the fit, it feels really good, snug around my foot, holds it tight. Uh, even when running or walking down a steep incline like this, my foot doesn't really slide around, doesn't move around. And also the tread is really, really grippy. Even on rocks and loose surface, it grabs, it holds on. It feels really good. Uh, so all in all, fit, feel, finish, and performance of the shoe is excellent. And that is why I think this is probably my go-to everyday walking shoe, uh, trail running shoe, um, and like light hiking shoe, especially when it's on dry, uh, relatively mild terrain. Obviously, if you need more ankle support, go to a real hiking boot. If you want uh, something that is waterproof, uh, that Merrill Moab 2, still a great shoe, just a little heavy for everyday use and uh, a little too, I feel like cumbersome for the amount of structure that it gives your foot. Um, but yeah, so back to the main part of the video. The 510 shoe really excels in a few specific areas. The biggest being ventilation. The shoe breathes very, very well. So even on a very hot day, you get that cold air coming in, your feet don't uh, sweat or feel as kind of swampy as they might in a traditional uh, thicker boot or thicker shoe. The shoes are very lightweight, so when you're running or scrambling through uh, kind of technical terrain, it feels very confidence-inspiring to place the shoe where you want to place it. 
And even though it has that more maneuverable feel, the stole, the sole, the stole, the sole is still very wide. So it gives you a lot of confidence, even on uneven, loose, unstable terrain. That also makes it a great shoe for a bigger runner on road. It gives a very stable platform. It gives a little bit of support to the foot overall, as well as the ankle, because again, it is a trail running shoe. So while it is breathable and heavily vented, it does really give uh, structure to the shoe with kind of the cap on the front of the shoe. The heel is built with a more sturdy material, and even the sides have some uh, bolstering via a thicker, harder material, kind of like a, it might be real leather, I have a strong feeling it's like a plasticky, vinyl-y leather, uh, or leatherette, whatever you want to call it. Looking at the 510, you lose some of the features of a more trail-oriented shoe. It's not waterproof. The sole isn't crazy thick or super durable. It isn't quite as structurally sound, so it isn't quite as supportive as something like the Moab 2. Going towards that lightweight runner, it's a heavier shoe than those shoes. It's not quite as flexible or as malleable, so for a long run, it's probably not gonna be as comfortable as a dedicated on-road running shoe. The sole pattern is also a little bit more aggressive than one of those lightweight running shoes. And so while there, the 510 doesn't have nearly as much traction as a full-on hiking shoe, it doesn't quite have the same durable sole or smoother sole that a traditional running shoe would have. So if you primarily run on like indoor tracks, this might be a little too grippy. It might be a little more challenging uh, when running on stickier, uh, tackier, like track-like surfaces. I'm not saying it's not doable with all of these cons. They're just things you have to keep in mind when looking at this shoe as a perspective for you. When you're selecting a shoe, really take stock of how you're gonna use that shoe and how it fits in with your lifestyle. If you're going out hiking the Appalachian Trail, uh, doing long backpacking adventures, get a dedicated hiking boot. I'm gonna cover the Moab 2 hiking boot, the high top version, in our video coming very soon. If you're going for like day hikes, and you don't really go out when it's uh, wet or muddy or gross. You really just like going out on a nice day, going for an enjoyable day hike. I think the 510 is kind of perfect for that. If you're a bigger guy, I'm 6'1", 280 pounds. I beat the crap out of my footwear and you just want a daily running shoe. This I think actually fits the bill quite well. It is a little bit more grippy, but that wide platform and that heavily supported sides make it a great running shoe for bigger runners who need that support, that traction, and that stable platform to really support you when you're exercising. And so for that type of person, I think the 510 is perfect. If you want a daily walking shoe that can do some light hiking, again, perfect for the 510. If you wanna go out and run a marathon though, and you're a lighter runner, and you're dedicated to that kind of stuff, even if you're gonna run a 10K or longer, I would say invest in a more purposeful running shoe. Uh, and that's why I really say that with this review, take it with a grain of salt and take stock of what you do and what you need from your footwear and then try to match it specifically to features. Um, and that's why for me, this shoe really comes into its own because I really do a lot of these kind of like light hikes or light walks. Sometimes I like to run for a little bit in the middle of it to get that heart rate up, get that cardiovascular muscles working. And so for me, I need something that's lightweight, durable, good traction. I really don't go out when it's super muddy or raining. And when I do, I want something that's a lot deeper because I'm either gonna be in no water or water that's taller than my ankle. So. For me, that it kind of puts that Moab 2 in a tough place where it doesn't really fit exactly what I need in most of my situations. So yeah, so with that said, thank you all for joining me and thank you for listening to this review. As I mentioned before, I am gonna come back, review the high top Moab 2 hiking boot. Spoiler a little bit, I love it to death. And it is my dedicated hiking boot right now. 
hopefully you'll all come back. This isn't just a drone and an FPV channel, although there is more of that content coming too as well. Thank you all for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, please subscribe for all the content coming soon. Thank you. Bye.